Hi everyone, welcome from Fractal Tips again. Today I've got a lovely HD7850 overclock 2 gigs edition from Gigabyte, Wind Force edition. This card had a no signal issue and I will try fix it now. Just watch full video if it's been success or not. As you can see, this car is also so dusty, also need some good clean and there is no signal issue. I will try a reflow with my lovely heat gun with steps you will be see. I will try to keep this short as possible for you and just show you the result if it's working or not. Uh, hopefully it will be all good and the car will be working condition again. This car has uh, only simply four screw on this side. Just cross button take it off. Once done this four screw, just gently take off. I will try just my hand. Yeah. Here you go. And unplug fan connector. The main problem why that car doesn't have a signal is probably overheat because look at this thermal paste component is it's actually dry look at that so dry first of all we need to clean this clean the card we flow the chip and hopefully it will be working again don't be scared use any paper towel for clean this old thermal component look at how dry is it Did you see that it's like one piece Clean then. I use the isopropyl every time. Clean alcohol for cleaning stuff like this. It's so helpful. You also will be need clean the dust from here. You will do it on the end. First of all, always clean the all all thermal paste. Once you clean all of the thermal plates, try clean all of the dust from the card. I mainly mainly use the, my ESD brush. Make card very nice and clear. Look at how dusty is it. Use the isopropyl clean. Spray the card. It will also make the card nice and shiny and card will look like new condition. Yeah, once you clean all the dust, the card looks pretty nice, shiny, nearly new condition. Once this card is clean like this, check if it's there no any missing components around everywhere by simply just visual checking I hopefully there will be no no any components missing I will just check that now quickly yeah I checked the old card and I don't see any broken or missing components here on this card which I have feeling the reflow will be definitely help and all the time use, use the flux which I always putting on single corner which I always putting from every side of the chip you can now see the flux is on every single side main GPU chip now we will reflow the cards we will set up 290 Celsius I simply hit 10 minutes for the main chip. Okay, you'll be need for this procedure hit the chip about 10 minutes on 290 Celsius. Uh, you will be start somewhere on the top, about 5 centimeters from the main chip. You're going continuously down and down, about 5 minutes of heating. Once it's, you will be see the, all of the flux is disappear. You will be start hit main chip here, very very near, like 
couple of millimeters from from of the chip about 30 seconds and after that continue for each corner of the chip about 10 seconds each side once you done this you will be continue to do the same with every single ram which is here and once you done this and about 10 minutes heating will be passed you will be slowly lift it up and still use the heat on the top and once it's all done just leave it card 10 minutes don't move at all because card is so hot even not substable for touch and once it's cooled down you can reassemble the card but because the card is so hot now we can go and clean this cooler from the dust and make as new condition and nice as possible clean cooler is so simply if you got a nice brush just stick inside and, and just clean that you can also blow if you got the air blower it's really up to you if you want it you can take off the fans as well but I usually not care because this brush is going easily inside and clean everything very nicely also the isopropyl for my nice and shiny as well that fine brushing yeah and now we have a core which looks like new condition again our card is cold enough put a new thermal paste doesn't matter style you use main point is to put a new thermal paste all the time done and never re reuse the old one first of all plug back fun as if you forgot this your car will be definitely overheat and just stuck nicely back have a look on the hole once you you're all for how much use the cross pattern for the screw pushing back once you got all four screw just tighten up with the cross pattern all screw to be sure there's no too much pressure but it's enough to make a good connection between the cooler and GPU once all the four screw put it back I'll clean again this PCI Express slot connector because it looks slightly dusty I'm not sure I just will be clean them just be sure it's all good Tack car to my test rig to see if working or not okay last step for cleaning let's clean the PCI Express and now we're going to test this card at my style I always plug in first power cable make it more easy push the card inside the PC plug power cable, signal cable and all of the cable you need for running now we're going to test this are you ready guys? to see if it's working as you can see all is ready PC is ready, card is there and now just push the power button to see if we can get this PC or not PC, the card working again fun is working and have you got a picture? yes Here you go guy, card is fixed. What I will be doing now is do a final test in full mark, about two hours, and if it's all this pass, I'm sure car is good and hopefully if you try make the same repair as me, we will see the same result. Uh, just wait for the driver will be loading and we can go and check that car if it's working. You can nice probably by the windows as well. As you can see, the car rolled in the driver now. I now will be switch on the GPU Z to see if the car is working correctly. Everything looks absolutely fine and looks like all is working absolutely correctly. We just will be need to do a couple of more tests. It's still flashing as the driver is loading. But so far, all looks good. We can download the new version before we do a full test. Okay, we now downloading the new version and we will do a full HD GPU benchmark 3 test as for first quick time and you can see all is working there is no any artifacts or stuff like that card is working about 28 FPS on these settings which is I think all good for card like this quite old card but still 
still so many people use that and for the card and for the resolution full HD the card is strong enough if you compromising some of the details here and there okay this short test pass with max GPU temperature has been 78 Celsius and 27 FPS average which 1606 points for this card. I think it's absolutely good for bargain card like this. As for the full test, I will be going to absolutely stress this card for about 2 hours to see if it's still working, how going to temperature and stuff like this. I will just show you end of this test once it's done. Just quick update. Card to running after one hour test. I will be not doing more because I did a couple of tests before, about an hour and two. Now this is the last test and actually all tests pass. Card running very well. Maximum reach temperature has been about 86, 87 I think, yeah 87. Never going over this temperature which is absolutely nice and it's a close case with low airflow. I think the card is now fixed and hopefully you like this fix as well. If you wanna see another fix just check on my another video. Check all of my video. I think some of them is so interesting. Click like, subscribe, smash the bell just next to the subscribe button. You'll be get a notification for all of my videos guys and hopefully see you soon on my next video